Hey DPC doctor colleagues, um, this is Dr. Thomas with Plum Health and there's a question in the forum about how to market your practice and how to get out there and one way that I use is through the Facebook platform and using Facebook you can boost your posts so I'm going to walk you through how you do that. Um, I just have up here loaded my page uh, for Plum Health Direct Primary Care. Um, if you haven't created a page it's relatively easy to do. Um, you want just pay attention to the name and make sure it's congruent with your own name for your company. So if you're named Plum Health TPC, my website's plumhealthtpc.com and then my Facebook page is facebook.com slash plumhealthtpc. Just kind of make sure you're congruent or things are synchronous across platforms. It'll make it easier for your patients or potential patients, more importantly, to find you and where you're at. So um, you know how to post things. You can come in here add photos, images, etc., whatever you want. I'm going to take an example of something I've already put up um, and show you how to boost that. Uh, that's my original intent. So um, <clears throat> I made an application for sustainable brands and that got um, 969 people to see it originally and then I paid an additional I think 15 or 20 dollars to get another 1700 views and it ended up with 1000 views in total. So that's pretty good, pretty happy with that. Um, I made a second, you know, another video. I make several videos. I make a few videos each week. Um, but this one was talking about if you can bike to your doctor, wouldn't that be great? Um, there's some bike lanes in front of my office, but they extend in only one direction. So this is kind of talking about the city of Detroit and trying to start a conversation around, can we get this extended up to Michigan Avenue or extended in both directions, more or less? So it got, you know, this is a pretty good reach um, did pretty reasonable, but if I wanted to get more people involved, more people to like this content or to click an additional button uh, to learn more or go to my website, I can boost the post. So if I want them just to generate more likes, I can have no button. If I want people to learn more and go to my website, I can leave that button. I'll have that up there for people to use. Um, and then I can target my audience. So I can go in here and say, edit my target audience. And I can say, I only want men to see this post, or I only want women to see this post, or I would like everyone to be able to see this post. And then, you know, I'm talking about biking. So maybe I want to target millennial folks. So, you know, that's kind of an arbitrary distinction, but, you know, maybe let's make this 28 to 40 years old. And then right now it's for the whole city of Detroit. And I can, um, I can change that. I can change the radius. So I could essentially um, zoom in here. And right now it's kind of focused on downtown in downtown Detroit. Um, but what if I wanted to drop my pin in Midtown? And the reason that I do that is because my office is pretty close to the Canadian border. So I want to capture this specific area. So I can go up here and change the radius down to only two miles so I don't get any spillover into that Canadian area. If you look down here, I'm getting some of my radius is getting down into Canada. Don't want that. I don't want Canadian patients in my practice, no offense, but they're just not going to cross the border to come and see me. So I'll make this down to two miles. And that way you can see that I'm capturing the area where my clinic is, I'm capturing downtown, midtown, um, and new center, um, kind of like the near east side or Lafayette Park. You know, some of the neighborhoods that where my existing customers are and where they're already coming from. Um, it says that my audience is fairly broad, but that's okay with me. So I'm going to save this, um, save these settings for my customers, and then I'm going to go down and I can have a budget of, let's say $15. That sounds reasonable. My estimated reach is going to be 940 to 2,500. Now it's estimated because if the content was awesome, then I'd get up to 2,500 people. If the content was like, Eh, not good at all. It would only get 940. So I'm willing to spend $15 on this. I know this ain't my greatest content. Um, usually con my content with subtitles will garner more views. I didn't take the time with this one to add in subtitles. Um, so I'm just thinking out loud, maybe I'll just put this down to 10 because I know I don't want to throw too much money at it if I'm not going to get the results I want. So that's kind of like, uh, you know, my thinking about this. I want to run this for one day. Um, starting now and you can really time this however you want say it's been a crazy news day 
crazy news cycle, you don't want to boost this at this time. That kind of gets into like timing your content. Um, the good thing to be is consistent. You want to consistently create content on specific days. And if you're going to boost it, boost it after you post it uh, within 24 hours. I posted this mm, just a little less than 24 hours ago. So I'm kind of on the cusp of its utility, but for example's sake, you know, why not? Here, here's 10 bucks, uh, throwing it out there, and hopefully this will generate some more revenue, some more interest in my clinic. So I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to learn more about what we do, uh, we're at plumhealthdpc.com. We're also on Facebook at facebook.com slash plumhealthdpc. And um, if you have any questions, you know, leave it in the comment section below or just hit me up uh, via any of my social media channels. Thanks so much again for your time and have a wonderful day.